Uh, John, first of all, are you appealing Brad Hills' red card? We will be, yeah. yeah. Uh, just have to see how that goes. Yeah. Um, what are your reflections on the, the weekend? You, you, you said you, you beat yourselves. How do you guard against that? Uh, we've got to improve. We've got to improve defensively as an 11. Um, we've got to improve uh, how we deal with situations, how we deal with danger. Um, and we had a good meeting yesterday with the players and went through it. Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're still a relatively young team, so it's getting that it's getting that balance between enthusiasm and experience, and and just knowing what to do in certain situations, and to leave ourselves as wide open as we had for the first goal when we were. We were quite rampant up to that point. I know it was only seven minutes gone, but we'd already scored and we looked like scoring again. Um, we'd had a couple of corners and they hadn't been near our box. And then the first time they do the score. So, um, and then looking back again, we, we give up too many chances in the first half that we shouldn't have for that domination because we had a lot of the ball. Made a few chances ourselves. And then we come out in the second half and we don't defend the free kick. Well, we do defend the free kick properly. We defend the throne properly, but then we don't. We don't see it through. And you know, it's a poor goal to concede. And then you're you're chasing the game from a game that you've you've controlled for most most parts. And then obviously the, the penalty slams the door on your face. So. I think you played 21 games this season in League and Cup. You're eighth in the in League Two. How do you assess the the season so far? It's still we're still very much a work in progress, in my opinion. Anyway, um, there was you know the green shoots of a of a, of a good um, a good one. Well, I wouldn't even say green shoots. It, it was like there was the the the, the symptoms and the, and the symbols of a of an improvement about four or five weeks ago, where we were scoring goals and we were tightening up at the back. We still look as though we're going to score goals, but we've got a little bit loose again at the back. And you're never going to be successful in this league if you can't keep the ball out your net. Um, and so that's something that we're going to have to spend a lot of time on over the next couple of weeks. Um, and you know, we we can reflect that this team's worse off than ourselves. Obviously, eight in the league, there's a lot who are worse off than you, but we should be judging ourselves and ourselves, not on anybody else. Um, and we know that there's improvement in us. We saw we saw signs of it, um, and we've got to get back on that upward curve um, after two defeats. And which is now, you know, if you, if you look at the cup games, three games out to win when you've gone, you know, four where you're winning or four or five when you're winning with the cup games. So it's going to happen throughout the season. You're going to have peaks and troughs. You just don't want the troughs to be too low, and so. You've got to guard against them. And you've got to work as hard as you can to to eliminate them. You, you mentioned a, a, a term on Saturday. I don't think a lot of people knew country club leadership. Can you just expand on that? Explain what that is. Is well, that something you've picked up in in the, in the, well, the no, it, training that you've had? It, yeah, I'm sounds as though I'm regurgitating um, textbooks here. No, it's just a, I am on a, on a leadership course and, and that's one of the things that's just on that resonated with me. Um, and because my whole managerial career has been based on empathy with players, so I've tried to see players the way I wanted to be treated as a player. And that doesn't mean that it becomes a holiday camp. You've got to, you've got to balance it. But when, when you, I mean, if you look at it in strict terms, you've got an organisation and you've got the players who are playing for that organisation. And the, the, organ, the organisation's business is about winning games. So if that isn't the focus, if the focus just then becomes on the players having a good time and the players enjoying being in work uh, and the results are a side issue, well, then you will only go into decline. Um, so we've, we have to... I'm still going to see players well. I'm still going to because I think that's where you get the best out of them. But you have to have the focus on the business, on the organisation mm -hmm. side of it, which is getting results. And if you can get a happy workforce alongside that, great. But you can't have a happy workforce 
and don't get the results, then it just becomes counterproductive and you shouldn't be here. None of us should be here. Do you, do you still get angry in the dressing room or have you changed, are you a little bit more pragmatic in how you approach that when you are mad at, at a performance or, or an individual? Uh, well, sometimes I get mad at myself. I was, I was more angry with myself on Saturday because there was a couple of substitutions I could have made at half time that I didn't, that I'm regretting now. Um, and sometimes you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. Um, so I was more angry with myself. Uh, I was angry in the fact that I've seen us take no points from two games that we've had the lion's share of the play, that, that we've made more chances than the opposition that we've had more shots than the opposition. But we've managed to find a way to lose the game. So that isn't good because that can't carry on. Otherwise, you're, you're going to go on that slippery slope again. Mm. And um, I'd be lying if I said I don't get angry because you do, but you can manage your, your emotions better. I've learned to manage my emotions better as I've got older. Um, and I go back to it. The first, the first person you've got to look at is yourself. You know, if you want to find the answers to problems, you, you, you find them closer to home. Um, and so there's things that I have to have to do that are better. And, you know, we discussed that yesterday when we had our team meet. Um, and we're always looking at ways to get, you know, to get the, what I refer back to in this leadership course is the organisation better, you know, the, the business better. And so to do that, you've got to get results. You know, football is very much driven by, by results. Um, and we are capable of getting results. You can see that with the team that we've got. We are capable of winning games. We've just found a way the last couple of league games to lose games that we really should be winning. Um, obviously, you've had your fair share of injuries. Um, what's the situation with, with, with Josh Andrews? You said he, he'd gone to hospital with a, what, what might be an infection. What's, what's the latest? It's still it? an ongoing process. We're, we're liaising with Birmingham at the moment. Um, and so we'll, we'll find out more later on today. Is it potentially a serious issue? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Right. Um, there's, we're going um, to get advice from Birmingham on that. Right, so he'll miss the, the Doncaster game? I would imagine so, yeah. Um, in terms of the other injuries, obviously Toby Savin, uh, Sean McConville, Liam Coyle, huge players for you. When are we likely to see those players back in action? Um, the truth for Lancers, I don't know. I can't see it being this side of Christmas. Possibly Sean, but I can't see the other two this side of Christmas, but we'll wait and see. With, with the McCracken loan situation, is that a, a thing that can be ongoing until Norwich say you, you can't do it anymore or, or yeah. how does that work? Well that's what it is, yeah. so you know we do it on a weekly basis and yeah, that's working quite well at the moment. Um, you've got Doncaster to face in, in a replay, there's obviously a lot of debate about replays and whether they should happen in the FA Cup, Are you? what's your take on that? Um, I think they should happen, um, I think it's the reason, the reason why the, the, it's, it's the FA Cup is because it's, it's open to the whole of the FA, the English FA, which, you know, football didn't begin and end with the Premiership, although some people could be forgiven for thinking that. Um, and once you get through to the, the later rounds, so, OK, so you can say, well, you know, the, the Premiership clubs aren't in it, so you're not going to get a replay with a Premiership club. And I think they've been stopped anyway, haven't they? So, we're not going to get a replay with a Premiership club, so you're not going to get a money spinner. But you look at a, a Step 7 or a Step 8 team in the pyramid, getting a replay against a, you know, a big side, um, like a Derby County, yeah, um, a Portsmouth. Cray Valley have got theirs on. Yeah, so, so, you, so you see what that does for their for their season, that can make or break their season. That could that could probably cover their own season expenses. Um, why would you de want to deny people that? Um, just with Doncaster, what, what did you take from the from the first game? Obviously, they're, they're a lot worse off than you in the league under under Grant McCann. But what can you take from that game into, into this replay? I know it's going to be a tough game, and I think they're expecting a tough game off us. It was certainly a game of two halves. They came out absolutely flying. We didn't. 
uh, and we managed to regroup in the second half and do a lot better. Um, we've got home advantage, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's who, who performs well on the day. We've had some good home performances this season, and we've had some not so good home performances. So, you know, it'll be good to have the fans behind us, and, and we've got to try and give them what they want, which is a, a, a passage into the second round.